guys so I'm back with another video for you in a different scenery <laughs> this is our new bedroom if you haven't heard we moved from Madison Wisconsin to Door County and Door County is a small community up north in Wisconsin as well and we are really happy here so far we've settled really well everything is going fine and I have a lot to update you on <laughs> <laughs> Since I am not doing uh, weekly pregnancy updates or bi-weekly pregnancy updates like I did with Lila's pregnancy, I thought that this time around I would just do trimesters updates. So I have done a first trimester recap and if you haven't seen it, you can just click it up here. I'll click it on the cards for you. And today I'm going to sit down and talk about my second trimester. As you guys see this video, I will be 30 weeks and a few days already so I am well within my third trimester already um, and you know my second trimester this time around was slightly different than my second trimester with my first pregnancy with Lila and this is a question that I've been getting a lot from you guys um, to compare pregnancies how um, this pregnancy is going in comparison to my first pregnancy with Lila and I thought that instead of doing a video specifically talking about the differences because I don't know if there is enough material for a whole video talking about that I thought that I would just talk about the differences in the trimester so each trimester I'll kind of like compare and contrast with how I felt in my previous pregnancy in that same trimester um, and then I'll start with the second trimester for this pregnancy. So I have my phone here and I wrote down a few pointers that I want to share with you and as I am sharing them they are in no particular order. I don't really have a structure for this video but what I've done is that I've taken notes throughout my second trimester because I knew that I wanted to do this recap eventually and from those notes I kind of like took bullet points and I'm going to talk through them with you and hopefully I'll cover enough that if you guys are going through a second pregnancy or a first pregnancy second trimester however if you can't identify with my symptoms and how this pregnancy is going maybe you know it's helpful to you as well okay so to start off um, if you guys again watched my first trimester recap you saw that I was super sick throughout my first trimester which is very similar to my pregnancy with Lila but this time around my sickness kind of like lingered a little longer um, I would say that my horrible sickness lasted until 14 weeks which is not bad I think that's pretty standard um, if I am you know if I'm to think about uh, those other women who have had a sickness throughout the entire pregnancy. I count myself quite lucky um, That I didn't that I really you know my it's like first trimester Started early super super sick and then 14 weeks rolled around and then I was just already feeling way better um, but what happened in this pregnancy is that I had a lot of urge to gag like I had a lot of gag reflex with everything anything that you can imagine and also I was throwing up way more than I did with my first pregnancy and that those symptoms lasted way longer so up to 20 weeks guys I would still wake up <laughs> gagging and if I was brushing my teeth I would gag if I talked for a long time and my throat got dry I would have that that uh, urge to gag I, oh, it was so horrible um, and to this day I am well in my third trimester now I still feel sometimes that urge to gag so this pregnancy has made me very very sensitive to anything and everything that um, has to do with my throat breathing and and everything I would say that the biggest difference that I've noticed so far in this pregnancy and it's something that I also started to notice to notice in my second trimester is that I just got bigger so much faster um, and I mean like my bump my bump was showing at 16 weeks and if I am to 
think about my first pregnancy with Lila, I don't, I mean, yes, maybe I had a little bump at 16 weeks, but it wasn't like, oh, that girl is definitely pregnant. This time around, you can definitely see I was like wearing maternity jeans already by then. I only started a picture here that I shared on Instagram, that I posted on Instagram. And if you guys are not following us on Instagram, go ahead and do so. I'm going to leave the link down below for you guys because I share a lot of the pregnancy symptoms a day by day or um, little videos of, you know, baby boy moving in my belly or um, updates on my pregnancy. I actually have a highlight called pregnancy that I've saved all the little stories that I've done, you know, throughout this pregnancy. So follow us on Instagram to be up to date you know on the daily routine of this pregnancy but definitely this little recap is helpful yeah so this pregnancy I just felt that everything happened faster I looked pregnant so much faster um, I felt baby move so much faster um, by 16 weeks also I was definitely feeling him move and I was definitely feeling like true movements in there and that was pretty cool the only thing is that because I am bigger this pregnancy and also I you know mind you that I started this pregnancy um, heavier than I did with my my pregnancy with Lila so I was my weight was way heavier so um, I am not gaining more weight than I did before in my previous pregnancy is just pretty pretty standard for me my weight gain so far but I started bigger so I look bigger and I feel bigger this time around which is just not fun because with that comes a lot of like achiness and lower back pain which I have a lot this time around um, stiffness I feel like my muscles are so much more stiff this time around in my pregnancy with Lila I of course was in Brazil and I had in my entire during my entire pregnancy and the weather was really good for me to exercise outside so during my second trimester in my pregnancy with Lila I would take walks on the beach pretty much every day my routine was that I would wake up um, have some breakfast and then go for a little walk but also I had more time because I didn't have a toddler then so this time around is another difference that I'll get to but um, you know talking about just feeling bigger and feeling like things are progressing faster this pregnancy is just crazy in one of my Instagram posts I actually talked about how everything feels so much faster this time around in my sec it felt in my second trimester so much faster um, the pregnancy was going so much faster everything was going so much faster I was feeling everything so much faster and so many of you in the comments agreed with me and that you said that in it happened to you as well in your second and third pregnancies you know um, after your first you just your body kind of like understands that you're pregnant and things happen faster also your uterus never ever ever go back to its normal size once you've been pregnant before so your uterus already start bigger you already feel more pregnant than you did in your in the in your first round so this is what's happening to me one benefit of how i felt the second trimester is that i felt way less anxious um, than I thought I would feel. I felt a lot of anxiety on my first trimester because I think it just comes with the territory of have gone through infertility and pregnancy loss and everything. Um, my first trimester I was so sick and so anxious because I was so afraid to lose the pregnancy. This pregnancy was unexpected and it was a natural pregnancy. We did not expect that we would get pregnant again in a million years because we had decided not to go through fertility treatment again, let alone get pregnant naturally. So this was a big surprise for us. And you know, it's almost like, it was almost too good to be true. Like we just couldn't believe it. Like it didn't, I wasn't really like believing that everything was going to be okay until that um, the anatomy scan that I did at 12 weeks and also we did a um, blood panel to make sure that everything was okay with baby and after the results I started to relax a little bit more and that led into a less anxious second trimester than I did with my, my, my pregnancy with Lila because um, I just felt that you know I was more confident I don't know I just I knew if I had an like a 
aches and pains or if I had a symptom that was something that I wasn't that wasn't like normal for my body I also knew that I recognized that symptom from before so I felt more confident in the pregnancy and I felt more confident in my body and that was a, such such a good change for me mentally speaking because you know pregnancy is really hard physically but mentally also it's so so hard and I'll talk a little bit more about like mental health in pregnancy maybe when I do my third trimester recap because I feel like in both both times as I started my third trimester that's when my hormones started to play a little bit more intensely in in my body and I feel more emotional and more you know like mental health wise like not so 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 balanced at this point just lots of ups and downs emotionally speaking that came in my third trimester in my first pregnancy really strongly and this time around i started to feel already but again because i recognize it already because i've been through it it's easier to deal with it and it's easier to kind of like accept it and you know and then just go through the motions of it now talking about energy levels um i definitely felt more energetic in my second trimester versus my first trimester of this pregnancy but I felt so much more tired than I did in my first pregnancy again and I think it's because I have a toddler now in my first pregnancy I had the luxury to just take naps and rest and just you know have a more relaxed pregnancy in that, in that sense this time around I don't have that luxury my toddler is really really energetic she requires a lot of attention and a lot of stimulation and this time i just feel more tired i felt tired throughout my my second trimester i had a boost of energy and it was nice but man by 8 39 p.m i'm ready to go to bed <laughs> every night um it's different this way because again i didn't feel like i had that like super super energetic you know like great oh yes I feel so wonderful on my second trimester I didn't feel that this time around I just feel tired I felt tired this entire pregnancy it's very very it's been a tiring pregnancy for me talking more now about the logistics of pregnancy not so much how I'm feeling but what has happened as far as exams and doctors doctor appointments and everything we had our 20 week is it anatomy or morphology I can't remember, but we had our 20 week scan, which is a vital scan in every single pregnancy when you're doing your prenatal care with your medical team. And it was wonderful. Thankfully, everything went well. Baby was really funny because he was, uh, his face was stuffed in my placenta. <laughs> he was using my placenta as his little pillow. And I had to walk around in the clinic to have him move so they could take all the measurements but he was m measuring perfectly, um, everything was great. And then we had also, we chose to have a 3D ultrasound. So I'll include a few pictures of baby boy. I really think that he looks like his sister. I know that maybe it's just me <laughs> being a mom <laughs> and like see things in there, but I honestly think that he reminds me a lot of Lila in in certain angles so I'm very 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 excited and curious to see his little face it's going to be very exciting other good news is that I passed my glucose test I'm very happy for that because I hate that test I also passed my glucose test in my first pregnancy with Lila but because she was so big she Lila measured ahead the entire time and so does baby boy he's already measuring ahead um, and Ryan and I just make big babies that's all we can say genetically speaking Ryan is a very tall man. He was a very big baby when he was born and I think that's all it is is genetics But in my first pregnancy when I did my first glucose test I passed and Weeks later because Lila was measuring so big my doctor was concerned and he ha she had me do it Again, so I had to do it twice in my first pregnancy, which was horrible because I hate that disgusting liquid and I passed again, which is nice because it's nerve-wracking to not pass it It's just like, you know, obviously you don't it's always terrifying to develop any sort of issues or complications during your pregnancy and gestational diabetes is just 
very, very serious. So I'm happy that I passed this time around, that we know that if the baby's big is <laughs> because of genetics and not so much because I'm developing diabetes. So um, my blood sugars are completely normal. I'm happy for that. <laughs> <laughs> now talking a little bit about the logistics of this move that we've made um, we moved cities or we moved from a, from Madison to Door County so with that I had to move hospital teams as well so I was really comfortable with my my medical team in Madison they were wonderful I loved all the nurses I loved my doctor um, and the clinic was so close to our house it was super 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 easy and now I'm going to a new clinic and I'm going to deliver in a new hospital and it's a rural hospital because where we are it's more of a rural area because it's a rural hospital there are little things that I appreciate and other things that I don't. That is a little bit different for me because I've never experienced that before. What I love about it is that it's very small. So the staff knows you and you feel like you have more of like a personal relationship with you know the nurses and the doctors and everything which is something that actually reminds me of Brazil. In Brazil, um, culturally speaking, people tend to be much more friendly in a professional environment. Even if you, you know, if you are I don't know, going to a doctor's appointment, your doctors usually hug you or they usually, you know, give you kisses on the cheek, which is a, a cultural um, gesture of saying hello. And here in America, I feel like, you know, the medical staff is extremely professional, but there's always that kind of like separation. You're being treated so well and everybody's so friendly, but you have that feeling of like, they're your doctors and you're a patient and that's how it is. Like you, you know, there's no interaction as far as like friendship, I guess. Like professionalism and friendship doesn't really mix. Whereas in Brazil, we get a little bit of both, which is, I like, I like a lot because I'm very, open to hugs and to you know communication and to everything but here in a small town i feel a little bit more of like how it is in brazil people are more open to get to know you in a personal level and i love that i love that it makes me feel very comfortable now the downside of going to a rural hospital is that they are not equipped to do everything that a city hospital is equipped to do. And what I mean by that is, for example, I had a, a previous C-section with Lila due to preeclampsia. And now I was hoping for a VBAC and I had already talked about, about it with my medical team in Madison and they were completely fine. They were open to VBACs and that's it, it's a procedure that they are able to, to do in, in the hospital that I was going to deliver baby boy in Madison. But this time, in this hospital, they can't do it. They don't have the right staffing place. They don't have the right, um, I guess the right setup for VBACs because VBACs are more risky. So because I had a C-section, I had two options with this hospital. Either have a repeat C-section or try to go to a bigger hospital that is an hour and a half away from us driving and try to get try to do the v back and ryan and i had to talk a lot about it because it was bittersweet to make this decision and the decision we made was that i am going to have a repeat c-section just to minimize risk um i am extremely afraid to have a to be associated with a hospital that is so far away in a rural area in the middle of winter right now we are in the middle of winter we get a lot of snow up where we are and my biggest fear is to go into labor and have and be in the middle of a snowstorm which is very very conceivable in february since my babies do in um in the middle of february super conceivable that there could be a huge snowstorm happening or there's snow on the road or so many so many issues with the the time of year and i'm terrified to go into labor and have to drive a minimum of an hour and a half to get 
to the hospital that would be able to perform a VBAC. So with that in mind and safety in mind, we decided to go in the repeat C-section route and go with this hospital that will be able to do that for us. And it's going to be a scheduled C-section. Uh, we don't know when yet, but I'll update you guys. It's a much safer alternative for us at, in, in our situation, in the situation that we are in at the moment. It's, it makes me a little bit sad because um, I this is my last pregnancy. I We've decided that we're just going to have two kids and two kids is the perfect number for our family. So it makes me a little bit sad that I won't be able to experience um, a natural or a vaginal birth. It's I think it's just like more of my own desire, you know, more so than anything else. I would like to, ex to have that experience in my life. But at the same time, when I weigh the, the pros and cons of our situation, there is absolutely no question that where we are at the moment, the safest, the safest thing to do is to schedule a C-section in the hospital that is 15-20 minutes away from us, rather than risk a uh, VBAC, which is something that I don't know how my body is going to react to, and have to drive an hour and a half to the hospital that would perform it in the middle of winter. So that's the decision that we made. We've made peace with it. So yeah, so I'm going to have a repeat C-section. So guys, I see that I've talked a lot in this video. This was a little bit of a catch up with you guys. Um, a second trimester recap and an update, almost like a comparison also between the two pregnancies so far um, because you guys asked for it. A lot of you guys have asked for it and I hope you liked it. Sorry if this video is so long, um, but I hope you liked it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment with a question or anything else that you want to know. I try my best to always respond it. And subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye! <laughs>